All right, Cancers, let's jump right into your reading. And, ooh, well, damn. Okay, Cancers. Um, you got a card that popped out, Seven of Pentacles. I'm going to set that to the side. Just pop right on out. Or oh, is this Nine of Pentacles? I'm sorry, not Seven of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. Um, Cancers, Father God, Holy Spirit. Please make this message clear and plain. What is it that the cancers need to know? What is it? Okay. All right, you have death in reverse. I'm going to set that to the side. Okay. What does the cancers need to know? What does the cancers need to know? All right, Cancers, you have a Ten of Pentacles. You have the Fool. You have the Lovers in Reverse. You have Two of Cups. Y'all Excuse me, that's the TV in the next room. It just got loud all of a sudden. Hold on. All right. Um, Cancers. Sorry about that. Let's see. Where were we? One more card for the top line. And you have the Hierophant. In reverse, um, cancers. Cancers. Okay, this is hmm, kind of weird. Now, um, right off the bat, I'm gonna let y'all know this mess. This message here, this reading is not for everybody. Um, none of the readings are for everybody. You know, it's just that's just impossible. I can't read for everybody at one time. It's just impossible. Um, but I really feel, I feel a specific storyline in this spread. So, you know, the more specific the readings are, the less is going to resonate with a great amount of people. So, I'm going to just go ahead and hop into it. Um, this looks more like a relationship reading um definitely a relationship reading so if your relationship your marriage or whatever is a one you know no issues i would suggest just go ahead and clicking off because i don't i mean it could be something else that comes up in a reading that you could resonate with but for the most part i don't want to um put any energy out there or or put something in your mind your subconscious to make you believe that there is in fact a problem in your relationship or whatever it is if you don't suspect anything if you don't feel that then i would just go ahead and click off um just being honest because it's a lot of projection it's a lot of things on the internet floating around that tends to bring unwanted problems or unwanted energies into people's lives in their relationships and stuff and i just don't want to contribute to any of that so all right now for those of you who are experiencing some issues in your love life um or what have you you know there's just some kind of rocky uncertainty whatever this may indeed resonate with you okay so if so, please hit the like button, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the channel, okay? Hit the notification bell to be notified each and every time I post a video, okay? All right, Cancers, let's get into it. You have three, right? Is it three? Yeah, you have three major arcanas in your top, your top spread. You have the lovers in reverse. <coughs> Bless me, thank you. If you say bless you. 
Um, you have the Fool. And you have the Hierophant. All three of these are major arcanas. You also have the Death card in reverse that popped out. So, there's a total of uh, four major arcanas here. All right. So, there's some um, life-changing events taking place or just something very heavy that's taking place. For some of you, I feel like you've been going back and forth with somebody. Um, one minute y'all are on, one minute y'all are off. Or this could be a thing where, you know, you guys are breaking up and you're falling in love with somebody else. Okay? I don't know. One of the two. Something like that. But, yeah, the lover's card in reverse. This talks about a breakup or discord in a love connection um a lack of trust definitely a lack of trust is what i'm feeling um some of y'all i really feel like this could have something to do with a marriage because you got ten of pentacles here and you got the higher for in reverse both of these can represent marriage commitment um longevity but I don't like the higher being in reverse because this can talk about, you know, something changing within this commitment. But, I mean, it, Ten of Pentacles, I, I do feel like you look at this person as family. Some of y'all have either created a family with this person or they've been in your life so long. You know, you, you've met their family. They've met your family. Y'all are almost like family and it's hard to completely let go it's hard to co completely you know break it off with this person because y'all been together for so long and y'all been at this thing you know for so long but i feel like with this full card here some of you are ready to take a leap of faith you're ready to start something new you're ready for new energy somebody is if it's not you somebody is ready to um bring in some spontaneous energy is what i'm picking up some of you have already found somebody else that has sparked your interest you have a connection with someone indeed okay uh this is somebody that you probably have great chemistry with is what it looks like but i don't know it's just some of you are coming with some baggage or somebody has baggage and it's like damn how do i choose um these two cards that came out ten of pentacles and the death card in reverse not ten of pentacles damn it nine of pentacles some of y'all are wanting to be in this nine of pentacles instead of the ten of pentacles um like i said ten of pentacles talks about family and longevity but the nine of pentacles can talk about independence thriving alone like still having something built here you know still having value but you're just wanting to do this alone just it, it just talks about being independent not having um that partnership okay but the death card in reverse tells me that there's something that you're holding on to that needs to be let go of it's it's dead weight but it's just still there it's still there and it's <laughs> kind of in your way it's kind of in your way all right let me go ahead and clarify these cards cancer why is ten of pentacles here Why is Ten of Pentacles here? Ten of Pentacles is clarified by Three of Wands. Why is the Fool here? Why is the Fool here? The Fool is clarified by Two of Swords in reverse. Why is the Lovers in reverse? Why is the Lovers in reverse? Why 
The lovers in reverse is clarified by ten of cups in reverse. I'm not gonna say this. Again. Well, I might say it again. <laughs> I've been getting ten of cups in reverse in everybody's reading. Everybody's reading. Everybody's sign that I've done so far. Ten of cups has came out in at least one of the decks, if not both. Ten of cups in reverse. Why is two of cups here? Why is two of cups here? Two of cups is clarified by Queen of Wands. And why is the Hierophant in reverse? Why is the Hierophant in reverse? The Hierophant in reverse is clarified by Page of Cups in reverse. Okay. All right, Cancers. So, um, going back to what I was saying about the Lover's card. It's clarified by Ten of Cups in reverse. Clearly, this talks about a breakup or unhappiness within a relationship, a commitment. Um, it's just some it's some unhappiness there. But like I was saying, there is something that I mean, you've you've invested in this. Like I said, some of you have probably been together for ten plus years or whatever, going on ten years. Some of you have children together. Some of you have um, invested in things together. Um, for some of you, maybe even real estate. Yeah, properties together. I don't, now I'm picking up like an older couple. Now I'm picking up an older couple. Like this is some. This is somebody. I don't. Sheesh. This is somebody that's established. I don't know who this is for, but this is a couple that's established and y'all been together for so long and it's like, this ain't it. Somebody's like, this ain't it. Somebody definitely has something going on somewhere else. Could be with the fire sign, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody has um, definitely piqued your interest. Don't know who this could be, okay? If it's not you, it could be the other person but somebody has something going on somewhere else or somebody is finding confidence somewhere else but it's definitely definitely not within this current relationship this current connection whatever somebody has found love somewhere else and it has currently died here in w whatever this is okay but like I said, somebody is afraid to make a decision with this two of swords in reverse, clarifying the fool. Somebody wants to take this leap of faith. I'm getting real big Aries energy. Somebody wants to take this leap of faith, but it's like, uh, I don't know. I, I just mm, can't just do this. I can't just do this. Going back to what I was saying about the lack of trust, somebody is not, um, somebody could be all talk, but it's just like, they, they're not really about what they say they're about. Um, this little dread here is getting on my damn nerves. Sorry, y'all. Somebody's not what they say, what they're saying they're about. You got the higher fit in reverse, clarified by the page of cups in reverse. Um, somebody could just act like they're in love or act like they are sorry or apologetic or whatever, but it's just like, no, it's just for show. It's just for show. You, you're caught in between a rock and a hard place, huh, Cancer? Because it's like, damn, we, we get money together. For some reason, like, we get money together, but we are not happy together. You know, or there, there's some sort of benefit here, but it's like you got to weigh your pros and your cons with the situation. Cause it's like, is it really worth the stress, or is it really worth my happiness? Because I, I'm just, I'm not fulfilled in this connection anymore. I'm not getting the respect I deserve. I'm not getting the love and attention that I deserve. I'm not getting the same you know, treatment that I put out, the same love that I put out, I'm not getting that back. I'm not getting a proper return 
on my investment when it comes to my love life. I'm only getting maybe financial benefits or whatever. And for and especially for cancers, that's like, that's not going to cut it for me. It's not about the finances. It's not about that. It could have been at one point, but it's like now, mm -mm. it's like you need more. Cancer needs more is what I'm feeling. Whew. Let's go ahead and pull um, a card from the How to Love Yourself deck for advice. Cancers, it says, I am in the right place at the right time doing the right thing. I see myself healthy, whole, and living in a society where it is safe for me to be me. Sorry, it says, I see myself healthy, whole, and living in a society where it is safe for me to be who I am and to love others. Hmm. I am at the right place at the right time doing the right thing. What does that have to do with this? Because clearly that's not good advice for somebody who is stuck trying to figure out what to do. Where are you right now, cancers? Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? If you are currently separated from somebody or you're in that mental space where you you know you are separated from some from somebody, maybe that's the universe, God, source, higher power, however you identify. Maybe that's his way of saying, like, yes, this is where you're supposed to be at, my child. If you're unhappy in this, yes, it's because you're supposed to be unhappy because Mm, if this is not for you, you need to keep pushing. Um, and don't doubt yourself. Excuse me. Don't doubt yourself and make it seem like there's something wrong with you when that's not the case. It's just, and, and that's not the place to blame on the other person either. Sometimes we hold resentment when we find ourselves in situations where the love is not reciprocal, you know? We hold resentment and we begin to feel bitter towards the other person. And it is unfair and it's very unfortunate. But sometimes in life, things just go that way. And us as human beings, you know, if we're not working on our emotional intelligence, we don't really know what to do. We don't really understand that love fizzles out or... We don't really understand that we probably shouldn't have gotten that deep into certain connections in the first place. And so we go against our intuition. We go against our better judgment. And we take certain connections further than they should have gone in the first place. And that's how we end up here. And it's like, you can't really place blame on... You can't, you can't place blame on the, on the other person. And it's not to really place blame on yourself. It's not about blame. More so about accountability, learning from it, and just moving on. You know what I'm saying? Like this life that we live, this simulation that we're in, it's about that big, you know, of our, it, this is, it's only a piece of our existence. And it's like, while we're in the game, we tend to forget that. And we tend to think that certain events are the world. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we make it bigger than what it is, but it's only that big. It's only that big. Meditation helps so much. Meditation really helps. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull a card from the Rebel deck just for shits and giggles and see what it has to say about this cancer. Well, uh, Cancer, it says you are being shady. 
Watch out. She could get ugly. Well. Well, that's the total opposite of <laughs> the other card that came out. Because maybe that's for two, two different groups of cancers. I don't know. Some of y'all are being shady and some of y'all are doing the right thing. So if you are not separated, if you're not separated from this partner and you're still in this for some of the wrong reasons or, or you're in it but you're cheating or lying or whatever the case is, you're being shady and shit could get ugly is what it's saying. But if you are separated and you are maybe just missing this person or still in contact with this person, but you are broken up from this person and you're just trying to figure out if that was the right thing to do or whatever, or if, or if this is the right thing, then I feel like that's what that card is for. It's saying like, yeah, you are doing the right thing. Keep moving forward. But for some of y'all, y'all might be being shady by staying in and staying longer than you know you, you, you should, or you being shady towards yourself and shit could, could hit the fan she could definitely hit the fan with this death card being in reverse okay because you're stopping something from taking place you're stopping something from transitioning okay that's all that i have for the cancers i'm not gonna lie though i kind of feel like it was more to be gathered from that cancers but i try to keep my videos under it at least 25 minutes these days i i, I try to do 15 but whatever um so if you need more clarification you know what to do go ahead hit me up try to book that reading all right so we can get more details on what's going on okay if messages in this reading resonated with you please hit the like button share comment subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell to be notified each and every time i post a video and as always, Cancers, if no one tells you today, know that I love you, I love you, I love you. Peace, love, and light.